Beast Reviews. I am your host, Summer Sanzo. Joining me today is Silver Quill. All right, class. I'm expecting you all to be properly conduct and respectful as we talk about two ponies and their pies. <laughs> oh, Mr. Sanzo, I ex expect you to see me after class. Okay. It's hard not to talk about their pies. <laughs> God, why am I laughing like that? Most unorthodox. Harumph! Harumph, I say! <laughs> so, anywho, in today's episode, we will be reviewing Season 7, Episode 23, Secret and Pies. In this episode, Pinkie Pie... <laughs> in this episode, Pinkie Pie thinks she's seen Rainbow Dash throw one of her pies away and suspect that Rainbow secretly hates her pies. So, she attempts to catch Rainbow in her web of lies. So, eh, yeah, it was one of those episodes that is very strange. But I like to point something out. Um, this is kind of an asterisk to this whole episode because uh, this episode came out on October 14th of 2017. And remember when we mentioned that uh, the comics kind of try to do a tie-in with the show? This is one of those times where, well, one of those moments where the whole idea failed because My Little Pony Friendship is Magic issue 59 came out on October 4th, 10 days before the episode. And this is a continuation from the episode. So yeah, we, we kind of spoil ourselves because of this. Yeah. Oh, the tragedy. Yeah. The irony. But still, but still, it's one of those situations where I wish the timing could have been better. But hey, we're reviewing this really late, so people at home will know now who have not read the comics. So yay, go chase down the comics if you want to. So yay. So first impressions are in order. Silver, what do you think of this one? Rainbow Dash is fast. It's like, th this is, she can move between an eye blink. <laughs> and how she is able to move something that fast without the friction lighting it on fire, I shall never know. We'll get to that. Silver, I think she has to stand the world. The world! Yes. Seppi's not here to re-intensify. <laughs> well, otherwise I'd be on my fifth eubonics by now. Oh, God! Oh, that'll be much better. But still, but still. You were saying? Straight... Straight up player. So Pinky be are like, oh, oh, dizam. Rainbow not be tripping on my pies, yo. <laughs> That's whack. Wiggity. <laughs> See, it's just not quite the same if Safi isn't here to, like, say how much she hates me or wants to kill me. Yeah, because I like it. <laughs> I miss that aspect. <laughs> oh, uh, Safi is not feeling too hot, so that's why she's not here. Yes, it's sadness. But I there's a lot of bugs going around, because... Even people online are, are just, I can't upload, I'm so, uh. But, we shall carry on in her honor. Yes, yes. And so, this is fun. I mean, it's a simple premise. But Pinky, usually by dialing everything up to 20, <laughs> makes it fun and interesting. Oh, yeah. And a little silly. Yeah. It's a Slice of Life episode that deals with actual slices. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh. So I think that's all I can say right now without spoiler territory. True, true. And as for me, this episode was a lot of fun because we get to see uh, Pinky going Pinky. It's been a while since we've seen Pinky going Pinky, right? Yes, indeed. Yeah, so it was fun. And it's not in the annoying way that I dislike how Pinky is. So yeah, this is much fun. And we get to see why Rainbow... Well, we just get to see stuff. It's really fun. And yay, fun. So, anywho, if you guys at home have not watched this yet, we highly recommend that you go do. We'll wait. Welcome back. Hope you enjoy the show. So, let's get into it. Uh, we start off the episode with our hero uh, baking a pie. A 74? No, 73 layer flavor pie. I don't know how do you do it. With Twilight asking, is that a proper unit of measurement? And I have to say that what Twilight asks is the truth. Because my mother, when she cooks something, a pinch of this, a dash of that, a do, 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 something of this. And I'm just thinking, how are those measurements? And my favorite line from my mom would be, 
oh, uh, if it takes off, add more things. What? <laughs> well, and then Pinky commits the ultimate offense by saying, baking is more art than science. And all I'm thinking is Full Metal Alchemist, Edward Elric, just like, I'm going to kill her! <laughs> In all honesty, it's both. Like, although cooking is an art, there's also a science behind it. The best artists measure their paint and know just how much they want to apply given, uh, you know, how much paint do you apply to one area? How many brush strokes? How many marker pieces? It's not just fumbling around. That's what separates an expert artist from a beginner. Piggy, she works in a pie shop. She would measure. True. She would measure. I agree with you, but sometimes when it comes to cooking, the irrational comes in a bit. Hmm, this tastes. This doesn't taste too good. It's not. Uh, it needs more salt. So you pinch salt and you throw it in, and then you mix it in, and like, oh, yes, perfect, yes. It's like, you know what? I, I'm I'm not gonna question cooking because it's not my area of expertise. So moving on. So she's baking a pie for Rainbow Dash because she is doing her 73rd training session. So, yay! 73 training sessions. That is a unique number. Yeah. She counts them all, but still. Twilight just laughs it off, and we get to go to the Wonder Bulls Training Academy. Yay! And Spitfire gives a compliment. <gasps> Gasp and gad. Yes, this is because uh, Rainbow Dash did a good job. If she screwed up, she would have scrolled her down. Yes. Well, that's, you know, after Newbie Dash, really everyone, everyone had sort of a, a mi well, there was a mixed reaction. And yeah, the Bolts were not the most likable characters in that. But now we've had them, what is it, offer compliments to Rainbow Dash's parents, mm -hmm. take part in a show to support said parents. And now, uh, now even Spitfire is complimenting Rainbow, showing how she's meshed with the group and the team. And I just like, yeah. This is good. Yeah. This is re this is getting the Wonder Worlds back in the good graces. And you need that. Yeah, and at the same time, too, they mingle well. I mean, when you have someone new, there's hazing to be done. You know, it's like, haha, uh, we're going to play tricks on the new guy. Just be make him feel part of the family, yay, and stuff. I haze people after I've gotten to know them, after I know that there's a friendship or mutual respect. It's why I drive... Uh, Safi crazy with shipping jokes and you Ebonics. <laughs> and you know, I make Norman have nervous breakdowns. <laughs> I don't know what Wee you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go watch more Ri Matt Miraculous. <laughs> Wee <laughs> See, I've already t I've taken him out of this podcast just like that. That's how good friends we are. Oh dear, I've I've broken poor Norman. I must continue on. I must soldier forward and sally forth. So Pinky delivers the fateful pie to Rainbow, and Rainbow acts properly impressed because I don't know how you achieve a rainbow colored crust without like food coloring. Copious amounts of food coloring. And that can go very badly. But then this is probably the most uh trite or forced aspect of this story. Rainbow Dash throws out the pie. Two seconds after she's gotten for Pinky. Why does she not just give it to the other Wonderbolts? Why does she not, I don't know, just let it cool off and make sure Pinky's in the clear before she, you know, disposes of it? Uh, Good gravy. I agree with you. Oh, wait, there was no gravy on the on the pie. <laughs> yeah. and That'd I, be more of a meat pie. Yeah, true. But I agree with you on this one, Silver, because here's the thing. Logically thinking, we're at the Wonderbolts HQ. Who do we know that enjoys pie? Pardon me one sec. <laughs> uh, oh, but yes, yeah, Sora Sor would make quick work of that. It'd be like, well, Rainbow Dash, I've gained so much weight since you joined the team. I hate you, but I can't stop. Oh, nom, nom. Hey, wait, I, I just remember something because, you know what? Uh, I'm going to put a pin on here because there's something that uh, happened in a scene later on that brings up what I'm going to ask. But anywho, yes. Uh, we get to see Rainbow Dash dump the pie and Pinkie Pie having a nervous breakdown. She goes to the uh, party cave 
and analyze all the data that she has. And out of all the data, not once did she saw Rainbow Dash eat her pie. Like she implied that she ate it, but did she witness it? So now it's time for detective. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now it's time for Detective Pinky to unravel the truth. And it is nice to see the return of Sherlock Pinky. Yep, yep, yep. She's actually put Twilight's lessons to uh, to work. Oh, and what are those? Well, to gather evidence, to interview, and to not jump to wild conclusions, even though she kind of already did, but she's trying to keep that in check. True, true. So good on her as she interviews the Wonderbolts and Pie Consumer Extraordinaire, Soren. Although, I, I too searched my memory of episodes. I cannot remember once seeing Rainbow Dash eat a slice of pie. And I thought, hey, that's pretty good that they that this late in the show, they could remember or at least say, hey, could we make this work? Yes. Yes, we can. Yeah, And in all honesty, we never really noticed that because, well, they haven't shown us that. So, yeah, it, it works. It works. But uh, investigation number one, the Wonderbolts. Pinkie Pie goes to the academy again to ask the Wonderbolts, um, Fleetfoot, Sorin, and Spitfire, if they seen Rainbow Dash eat a pie. But remember that pin I mentioned before? Here's the point. Um, yes. I think Spitfire mentioned that I we've been getting some pies for some dessert thingy for some event. So yeah, that's one... Thing, and I think Rainbow Dash was the one that gave it to us. Remember that? I don't know if I totally remember that part, but here, I need to look up the transcript. I, that's why I meant, that's why I think. I, I just recently watched this again, and I remember them saying that. So, but still, it's if it's there, then it's evidence that Re, uh, Rainbow Dash has been dumping the pies to the Wonderbolts. And I think Sorin's been eating all of them. <laughs> Oh, ha, ha. I don't want to overdo that sound effect. <laughs> Yay. And is this transcript there? Is it true? Well, let's see here. Uh, Spitfire saying, well, we have been getting mysterious monthly pie yeah. donations. See that there. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. But and next we have and Pinky asks, can you pick the pies out of a lineup? Which honestly, if you can do that, what am I saying? This is the era where people tweet pictures of their food before they oh, eat. Yeah, it. I do that. I, I don't. I, I don't think what I'm about to eat is all that interesting. It's it's good for me, but it's not like I'm not gonna bore other people with my menu. Not really. It's one of those scenarios where if you see, if you, for example, if I tweet about my food, and let's just say we kind of live in the same vicinity, and says, "Ooh, that looks good. Where did you have that?" And I just say at Joe's. Oh, cool. I'll have that next time. You know, it's one of those things. Well, see, I I think if you. If you made your dinner, if you put a lot of hard work into creating it, then yes, in a way, that's your art. Consumable art. So, okay, I get why you would tweet that. But I am garbage at cooking. <laughs> uh, well, that's besides the point. So, let's go to the second uh, witness. And it's Dr. Fauna, the vet. I, she's the last pony that I thought we'll see ever again. But no, we, we get to see her. And Pinkie Pie is asking her about Tank. Is she doing? Is Tank doing well and whatnot? Because Rainbow Dash says that Tank has a tummy ache, and the reason why is that Rainbow Dash has been feeding Tank too much sugar, and it's not good. Yeah, this is great. In trying to protect Pinkie's feelings, Rainbow is giving is throwing Tank's health out of whack. Rainbow, there are issues here. Mm -hmm. Uh, it seems that Tank is not the only one suffering from this illness. It seems that the hamster in Miss Charity's class is suffering the same problem too. <gasps> yes, I'm, I'm waiting for you to say, it's a pie pandemic. <laughs> that was the best line. <laughs> it's a pie pandemic. I salute that pun. <laughs> it's upper crust humor. <laughs> you didn't flake on the jokes. <laughs> uh, so anywho, uh, Pinkie Pie goes to Charity and... Ask Charlie about the whole thing, and it's true. And Charlie says, uh, how, no matter how many times I tell the children not to feed the pets uh, pony food because um, they don't mix well with uh, us. No, they, they don't mix well with the animals. And then in my brain, I'm thinking like, but aren't you animals too? Mm, yes, no. 
technically humans are animals. Mm, yeah, but still, it's, it's something funny in my head. I have to giggle a bit. Giggle, yeah. giggle. But still, um, Cheerily mentions that uh, Rainbow Dash is always the one giving or donating pies after her, what, six month birthday, something like that? Some mm. such. And Pinkie Pie pieces everything together, discovering that Rainbow Dash is the culprit and she hates pies. No! Dun, dun, dun. Yep. And somehow Applejack has a good batch of apples or her harvest is good and decided to give uh, Pinkie Pie some. And Pinkie Pie consults in Applejack about the whole scenario. And Applejack says, yeah, Rainbow Dash eats pies. I think uh, I never really seen it before. That's a unique. That's a unique skill. If you can go this long and your friends still don't know if you enjoy something. In all honesty, it's one of those things where I think it's viable because it's a scenario. It's a very specific scenario, to be honest. Even so, I just impressed that Rainbow can keep up this duplicity. <laughs> yes, yes. And well, be Pinky being Pinky, she has a wild imaginations, and discovered that Rainbow Dash is an evil sorceress who has cyclops vision to destroy pies ah she's evil what do we call her dark dash cyclops let's just call her cyclops the worst of the x-men's rainbow smash (laughs) i don't know and hey there's a there's a whole movement online cyclops was right (laughs) no Oh, it's oh, it's on. We got to have a big old debate episode now. Was Cyclops right? Honestly, I don't. I don't know because I don't keep as close tabs on Marvel comics as I yeah, used to. Same. Well, I know that Cyclops is. I mostly know him from the cart. I mostly know him from the cartoon. Yeah, and all those times, he's a jerk. He's a big fat jerk. Really, I thought he was just sort of a boy scout. Too much of a boy scout, like. That mentality there when uh, that mentality there in the future made him the worst. But anywho, anywho, Applejack snaps Pinky out of it, and yes, Pinky will bake more pies. And Applejack asks, "Um, is there any way out of here?" <laughs> yeah, all this time Pinky really needs to install like an escalator mm-hmm. or something. And so the next day, it's your it's wake your friends up day. Yay! I should do that to your Zilder. <laughs> What do you think I, happens when we do this podcast? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, got it. Yes. Get up. Uh, Safi's two hours ahead of me. She's got two hours of sleep. Doran's on the whole other side of the planet. He's getting to wind down for the evening. I got to get up. I don't want to get up. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. But anywho, Pinkie Pie wakes Rainbow Dash with more cowbells. Yes, more cowbells. What is that uh, from? SNL skit, um, Christopher Walken's. Ah. I'm, I don't do good Christopher Walken impression. No, but you're making me think of him singing the theme song now. My <laughs> little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. Uh, but anyway, anyway. yes. Uh, Pinkie Pie gives Rainbow Dash some, what, what was it? Cream custard pie, something like that? Let's see here. Wake up your friends day. da 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 no, she doesn't say what type of pie it is. Mm, but anywho, Rainbow Dash accepts it, and quick thinking, she gives Pinkie Pie a flower as a return present, and spreads the pollen. And in quick fashion, Rainbow Dash dumps the pie and gives it to Tank. Yay. Mmm, yummy. No, not yummy. He eats the tin, too. <laughs> Th- this is why Rainbow's not a good pet care. She's not treating Tank responsibly. <clears throat> Fluttershy needs an, to hold an intervention. Yeah. And, well, that that too. But still, uh, Pinkie Pie looks for the pie. And where did he go? Where did he go? And here starts the comedy. So, on Rainbow Dash 74 training session, Pinkie Pie arrives and gives Rainbow Dash a pie for her 74 training session, which haven't started yet. So, it's a pre, this. Uh, pre-celebratory pie. And Rainbow Dash says, look out. Pinkie Pie being the smart one says, I'm not going to fall for that. <laughs> and she does. And <laughs> next thing you know, she's strapped to a gurdy. It's like, you'll never take, you'll never take me alive. <laughs> and I just love the doctors. Um, no, I, I just love the medics. Uh, what you call this uh, answer for this? It's like, excuse me, ma'am. We need to strap you down because we got no, uh, we, we, 
we want to check for any internal problems. Externally, she's yeah. <laughs> well, she's got external yeah. problems. She's they're all related to Rainbow Dash. Yep. And I wonder what pie is that? That looks nice. But then, anywho, uh, I'm not sure myself. But I wonder if she should just save that pie to bribe them not to arrest her for trespassing on the training grounds <laughs> yeah. again. But anywho, for Pinkie Pie's next scheme or plan, uh, she screams for help, and Rainbow Dash is there. Oh no! Somehow she's at the top of a pie pyramid, and she needs to get down. The only way for uh, Rainbow Dash to save her is to eat all the pies, or she could just, you know, carry her down. Yeah, I'm afraid that as plans go, that one was not terribly well thought out. It's just the way. Yes. Of it. Uh, and talking about plans, the next one is well, Pinkie Pie gives Rainbow Dash a bunch of pie as a thank you for saving her life, and now Pinkie Pie wants to see Rainbow Dash eat her pies. Come on, eat it. Yet. And uh, the, the the faces Pinky makes. <laughs> it's almost as scary as Rainbow Dash in that one issue of Friendship is Magic where she was had the drearies or the an- anger. Oof. Looked like she was going to murder Oof. Tank. Eesh. In fact, her, her jaw was just as bubbly or roiling as Pinky's. <laughs> yeah. It's quite terrifying. But still, but still. I'm scared. Hold I me, will. Norman. I will. It's okay. It's okay. But anywho, um... Rainbow Dash, me Rainbow Dash, shouts out, I got a lot of pies, and the kids comes and, well, take the pie. I wonder how Pinkie Pie never noticed that. <laughs> Man, her rage is just yep. building. It's like the ocean. The more waves you see, the more they roil yes. within. And for the final test, the festival of pies, Pinkie Pie gives Rainbow Dash a pie and asks her to eat it in front of her friends. All work and play make Pinky something, something, something. Go crazy? Don't mind if I do. Excellent. <laughs> uh, Simpson reference for everyone out there. E. So anywho, Rainbow Dash is taking her time to eat the pie. And at the right moment where Pinkie Pie blinks, Rainbow Dash uses her stand, Zawardo, to, well, make the pie go fly away. Next thing you know, she's gonna get a she's gonna get a steamroller. <laughs> Wee! <clears throat> but still, uh, but, uh yeah, sorry. the fact she can move this fast, it is just a testament. Perhaps this has been her training all this time. She can be a wonderbolt because of all her pie dodging skills. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Or you know what? I'm just gonna uh, say that she has the speed force. There you go. Well, move over, Flash, Sentry. <laughs> uh, Magnus. There, there too. Well, we'll get, we'll get to Magnus. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But anywho, Pinkie Pie just straight out asks Rainbow Dash, did you, do you like or dislike my pie and stuff? And the jig is up. The pie that Rainbow Dash made fly falls on Pinkie Pie's face. And... Rainbow Dash tells the truth that I hate pies. Like, I, I don't like pies. It's, and with that, Pinkie Pie is just hurt. Well, yeah, I mean, she put all that effort into him. I get why Dash said, why Dash sort of kept it under wraps to protect her friend's feelings. I mean, it's not malicious. Although, though everyone acts with such indignity about this. <gasps> you don't like pies! It's like, you know, it's really not that big a deal. It's a big deal to Pinkie because the effort she put in. But Twilight's indignity is <laughs> disproportionate. I think Twilight here is just angry because Rainbow Dash didn't just straight out tell Pinky that I don't like pie. Pie's not my favorite dessert. So, sorry, I don't like pie. And I think that's why she's angry. It's always Applejack at the same time, too. And, yeah, with that, uh, Rainbow Dash discovers a new plan to say I'm sorry. And... You said plan is whoosh. How do you arrive at that thing? I say my cooking is garbage, but it looks like Rainbow used actual garbage. <laughs> yeah. So, anywho, to, to save Rainbow Dash the trouble of food poisoning herself, um, Pinkie Pie says, no, don't eat that trash. Like, literally don't. And then she understands why Rainbow Dash does the thing she does because she wants to make her feel happy about the thing. All, all the time that she 
enjoy the Python and whatnot. And it's a, it's one of those lessons where I understand what you're trying to do, but at the same time, it's not a really good lesson. And they both understand. And from now on, they'll tell the truth, which to Applejack credits says, I could have told you that. It's funny. I get the feeling that Applejack's in this just because, you know, you've already got what Rainbow's voice actress. Mm hmm. Who is also Applejack's voice actress. There you go. Yeah. Although Fluttershy didn't make an appearance. We have Pinky. Oh, well. It's all good. And yeah, episode, but, yeah. <laughs> episode ends with them telling the truth. And the truth is Pinkie Pie's hugs are too hard. And <laughs> and she dismisses it. <laughs> yeah, so much for honesty. Yep. And if you want to continue the story from here on out, there's the comic issue 59 where Pinkie Pie still wants to force feed F Rainbow Dash Pies. That's right. You will. You will come to like my pies. Oh god. And with that it's episode, the truth. episode ends. Uh, so Silver, what do you think of this episode, man? Well, it's fun. It's silly. It's not deeply insightful. We know Pinkie takes great joy from uh, other people's, other ponies' enjoyment. I, it is maybe a testament that Rainbow was trying to protect those feelings. And so, good intentions, bad outcome. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. True that. But uh, all in all, it's just fine. I guess the only weird thing is that Twilight is so indignant. You've been lying to all of us. Twilight, have you ever baked Rainbow a pie? No, but I'm mad for Pinky. Yeah, d don't, don't do that. Don't be mad on someone else's behalf. But, you know, it's just fun. Pinky's imagination makes a great her physicality. Rainbow's unbelievable speed. Uh, unbelievable is true. It's just stunning. absolutely freaking lootly stunning. And yet, I enjoy. I enjoy. And as for me, this episode was a lot of fun. Getting to see the shenanigans of Rainbow Dash trying to dump pies while... Pinky just trying to give more pie was fascinating. Like, it's one of those conundrums that is a question to two where I want to see Rainbow Dash eat pie. And Rainbow Dash is, I don't want to eat pie. How do I dispose of this? <laughs> it's, it's very fun to see. And she does it by damaging Tank's diet. No! Not only that, like, oh, that is another discussion of another day, but still. It's fun to watch the insanity happen. And, well, it's one of those episodes where slice of life. I can't wait to see what happens. It's a lot of fun. So, yay. And, well, with that, um, that's my thoughts. So, Silver, what are we going to do next week? Well, I believe we're going to keep the episode reviews rolling, eh? I, I... Hey, what? 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 Because, you know, like, the season eight has premiered. It is full rolling, and we must catch up. Yep. Must keep on a trucking. But we're not that far, because next is Uncommon Bond, the penultimate... Well, okay, technically there's three episodes left, but but the latter are a two-parter. So I consider Uncommon Bond the penultimate episode for the season. And this The reason for the season. Yes. And this episode here is a fun one. Because, hey, it's... <laughs> How do I put this? It's, it's kind of the setup for the comics again, if I remember right. Well, it certainly introduces, uh, well, I don't know, technically Star Star uh, Sunburst was already researching the pillars. Yeah, true, but if I remember right, like, we had a scene of this one in the comics a bit, but still, but still. But, uh, yeah, we get to see Sunburst the harem anime. <laughs> Yay, kind of, but not really. <laughs> uh, so, that'll be next week's thing. So, anywho, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, i like to thank Lurker Cat, Starstream, Master of Lag, Amy, Mark, Charles, Lucky Knight, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You have been really awesome to me. So, Anywho, Silver, you want to give your shout-outs? No? Yes? 
Well, I'd give lots of shout outs. I'd like to give shout outs to Watch Pony, where I got to lend my voice to uh, Top 10 on Season 7. Bronies React, where I got to uh, react with other f- folks to the finale. So, yeah, go watch that. Like, it's all the best, best ones there. Yeah. So, anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am the Silver Quill. And we'll, guys, catch you next week with another fun episode of the yes show. See ya. Adios. Pies. <laughs>